Okay, I'll tell you why I wouldn't automatically assume someone was calling for help. And Nerd can back me up on this because he was there at the time. I was making this kind of noise. We, we were talking about the dark crystal. Yeah. And Colossal started to do the voice of the... The Chancellor Skeksy. Yeah. Please help me, Gelfling. I like shit like that. But we were saying child a lot. It was like, please, child. So it sounded like a, like a handicapped old woman that had fallen out of her chair and was like begging a toddler to help her. But I was doing it outside on the balcony pretty loud. And I guess someone wasn't a sociopath. Because they thought that there was an old man, or was it a woman, they thought, down the that stairs. was screaming for help. Yeah. So they called the police to do like a welfare check <laughs> because they thought I was yeah. a battered old woman being beaten alive by a child. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. It was the strangest call because they, like, they were embarrassed to ask. They were like, look, we respect your privacy and we're trying not to invade on your privacy, but... Is everybody okay over there? No. <laughs> so it was like, they thought maybe that it was like a fetish thing. Because it went on for a while. And then me and Nikki cackling at the top of our lungs as you beg, you know. So like, it was like, it sounded like a really sadistic family. Did they think they were children beating an old lady? A senile, victimized, elder abuse, Skeksy. Please, oh please, <laughs> don't <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> Do you see what I mean, though? That's why I wouldn't call for help or go and check on him, right? Because it could just be some weird freak like myself, some guy outside in an orange raincoat. I mean, if I heard you screaming for help like that, going, please, I'd be like, okay, that person's from like the 1800s, so yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to go. 